Greetings, friend. I will show you what you may not know about Sudoku Mini X-Wings and how you can use that knowledge to solve the colored cells. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Look here in block six. You notice you have a one coming up the column seven and one coming down column nine. There's only two possibilities for the ones right here in block six. I'm going to mark that. This is called Snyder notation. Anytime you have two possibilities for a candidate and in a three by three block like this, mark them in case you solve one, you can solve the other right away. Very common uses in competition Sudoku. And now we can also look and see if we can solve some cells individually. Look at these twos here in rows seven and eight. And you got this two come down column eight. We can solve that for a two. Okay. And then with this two cutting across row four and this two, solve for two right there and then with this two row one you'll notice there's two possibilities for two in block one but this is a special one because the twos are in the same row uh, and there's another block to consider uh, this is called a pointing pair it means the twos can't be in either one of these two cells because if you put a two here here then you have no place to put a two here in block one and so what we can do is using that pointing pair and the fact that we have twos here and here we can solve this cell for a two. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you to Smart Hobbies. Subscribe if you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. We can go a little bit further. We can actually look right here and see if we can solve this cell. All right. What we have is a six, seven, eight, and a nine in the block. And then what we have a one, three, four, five. In the row and the column, we know this is a naked single two. We can actually solve that for two right away. Let's look over here. You notice how you have a kind of this one, two, three, four, five thing going on. So you got the one, three, four with this two, it means all the low digits are covered. Then you have a six, seven, nine going right there. That's a naked single eight. So we can solve that. And then you can push it over a little bit more because now we have the six, seven, eight, nine, and three in the row, and the four, five, and one here. Anytime you have eight digits looking into one cell you know you can solve that for a naked single this has to be a two so you had eight different digits looking into that one cell let's see if we can do that over here you know that you do want to look where you have a lot of restriction so we have quite a bit of digits in block one we got two six seven eight nine and then we have three different digits a one four five in the row that's going to allow us to solve this cell right because it can't be a one it can't be a two can't be a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This has to be a naked single three. These are usually a little bit harder to find, but I'm gonna kind of point them out to help you with this solve. And then with this three, we have two possibilities for three here. So I'm gonna do Snyder threes right there. And then we can also look and go, I have a three right here and a three right here. I can solve for three in block nine. And now it's time to actually solve the green cell. And this is something you may or may not know. You notice right here, we have the threes are limited to rows four and six in block four. And I'll color that in blue. If you go here in block five, where can the threes be? Well, it's not marked already, so it's got to be in rows four or six. And we're not going to put Snyder marks there because there's three possibilities. That would mess up what we're using the Snyder for. But what you notice is since the threes are limited to rows four and six in blocks four and five, a three has to be in row five in block six. That's the only place a three can be. And what you may not know about this, this is called a mini X-wing. What you may not know is that it doesn't have to be a strict X-wing. It doesn't have to be three here and here or here and here. You just have to have the candidates limited to the same two rows in two of the blocks. And we look here and we go, all right, three has to be in one of these spots. If is it possible to be in all three, that'd be a claiming triple. If only two of the candidates, like these two, could be a three because of this three. That would be a claiming pair. But since you have the threes here and here, we can actually solve the cell as a hidden single three. You join a Smarty Party by clicking on the pinned comment. You can get my latest puzzle pack featuring strategies like this. You become a super Smarty, $25 a month, I'll put your name in every video. All right, we're going to remove these marks. And we're going to do this again with the threes. But let's look at this first. We got these twos here. 
got these twos here. This has to be a two. Now, where could a three be in block two? One of these two possibilities, right? Where can a three be here in block five? Got to be in columns four and six. So column four and six here, columns four and six here. I'm going to do another coloring here to kind of show you that. So we have another opportunity for a mini X-wing, right? Because the three is going to be there. It's got to be one of those two spots. Or it's going to be there in one of those two spots in these two blocks. So then the three has to be in one of these spots right here in block eight. And since you have a three here and a three here, we can solve for a three as a hidden single right there. Okay, let's get rid of these colors and move on to the fours. All right, the fours looking, you got these two fours here and the fours are limited in block eight to these two cells. And then with these two fours and this four, we get Snyder fours in block eight. All right, so look at the fives. You have this five right here. And there's two possibilities for five in block one, and they're a pointing pair. Uh, we know fives can't be in any of these spots because of these two fives right here. And five right there means the fives are limited to these two spots right there. And this is a neat situation. Whenever you see Snyder candidates, two pairs of Snyder candidates, the same two cells, that is called a hidden Air. Because three and five have to be in two of the cells in the block, they limit the same two cells. No other cans can be there, so these two are hidden among other cans. So we can eliminate all other choices and mark that as a three or and a five. All right, let's do that again. Okay, you see how you have a five here and a five there. Fives are limited to these two spots in block eight, just like with the three five. Now you got a four five hidden pair right there. Give me a thumbs up if you found this hidden pair. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If we continue down column three, then you have two possibilities left. So this is a naked pair, a one and a six, which means this has got to be a seven, eight, or nine. Because I have a seven right there, I can solve this cell for a seven. And then with these two sevens and this seven, I can solve for a seven right there. And then with these two sevens and this seven, I can solve for a seven right there there and now you see with these two fives and this five we can solve for a five right here this place in that snyder four all right we can make that mark all right let's look at now what we can do with the sixes you notice that with this six there's only two places for a six here in row three and so we can mark that that's going to be kind of like a claiming pair also you could have looked and seen hey i got a six seven nine naked triple because those three cannons make up this spot up here in block three. So the sixes cannot be in those two spots. But we didn't forget about down here. We're going to use this to kind of help us get to that next solve. But you have the one and the six right there. This has to be an eight or a nine naked pair. And so the eight, nine naked pair, the four, five naked pair means these two cells are a one and a six. Well, since I have a one right there, this has to be your six which means we can disambiguate the one and the six right there. And now we're going, okay, is this an eight or a nine? Well, with this eight, you can solve this for an eight, you can solve this for a nine. And now with the seven right there, remove that seven, we can solve this for a seven. With the nine, we know that this has to be your six and that has to be your nine. Awesome, all right. Let's do the next neat trick with those mini X-wings. We're going to help us figure out what's in that red cell. Where can the eight be in the column and in the block six, right? It's got to be one of these two spots. This is actually a six eight. And so the six and eight are limited to rows four and six in block six. And then you notice that the eight is also limited in row four and six in block five. And so that means, like we discussed before, that the eight got to be somewhere here in row five in block four, right? Because the eights go in these spots. So either the eights here and here, it's here and here, or it's here and here in blocks five and six. And so we know it's got to be those two spots. This is a flaming air. And what you didn't know, and this is what I want to share with you, is how you find this is going to depend more on whether you do marking or no marking. If you're a no mark solver like Niels 
Malta Christian, who I covered recently, you might go and look across this row and go, okay, where can an eight be? Well, this eight means it can't be there. So the eight's got me one of these spots. This is a claiming pair. But if you do the marks like I do, or Simon Anthony, you know, you will be going here and you'll mark Snyder notation. You'll mark these eights there and you go, oh, well, the eights are still right here. Uh, they must be limited right there for a claiming pair. All depends on if you're marking or not. Usually it's how you're going to figure out which way you're going to see that. If you like these tips, consider buying me a coffee or click on the super thanks here on YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. Now we can use this information, get more information about this cell right here. Let's finish up row seven, kind of work on our nines here, right? Because this is going to be a six or a nine to finish row seven. I got a six right here. So that's got to be your six. That's got to be your nine. Okay. And then with this nine, there's only one place for a nine and block. Six, so we can solve that for a nine, solve that for a one. All right, and so now what we got here is a nice one eight naked pair to finish row five. So we know this is either going to be a one or an eight. Which one is it going to be? We shall see. Okay, let's look across row three. We're missing it. We got the one, two, three, five, four, five, seven. We need a six, eight, nine. Well, I'll use my neat naked triple trick. I see a six and a nine right here. The nine's repeated. So we know we can solve all three candidates. This has to be the eight. This is the only place that the nine can be, and this has got to be a six. Learn more about this trick in this tutorial. Okay, we got the nines now. We got the sixes down. All right, what we got here? The eight. We can come down here and go, this has got to be an eight. I mean, this is a one. It's the only thing that we haven't put in the block. Okay, and then with this one, there's only one place for one in block five. All right, and now with these two ones, we can solve for a one right here. And so we want to look for the areas of greatest restriction. Because of this eight, I don't see an eight in block five. This has to be an eight. And the only digit left is now a three. And so we can disambiguate the six, eight right here. And we can disambiguate five and a three right there, which creates a nice full house. So we can solve this cell now for a four. I don't see a four in block one, so I'm going to pull the four up from column one. And then I don't see a four in block two, so I can... Solve for the four right there. And we're going to disambiguate that five and the four. We're getting close to solving our red cell. Now, you see this three right here. We know we can displace that Snyder three. Solve for three right here, and this is going to give us a five. Displacing the Snyder five. So we solve for the five there. This has to be a one. And now we have the one right there. We know this cell is a one, meaning this cell has to be your eight in the red cell. Nice. And now we can disambiguate the 98 right there. I don't see a nine on block. Four, so I'm going to pull the nine up from block seven. So that's your nine, and the last digit is a six. Catch this next video to get more Sudoku tips that you may not know. Thank you so much for watching.